Dobby do, Dobby do. Lumi the handsome boy. I'm the star. <laughs> oh, he's scared. <laughs> Love you, Dobbs. <laughs> Hello again, friends, and welcome back to a Discourse of a Divine Diva. I am your friend, Haley, and uh, today we're unboxing... I don't know what's wrong with me. We're unboxing my January boxes. That's right. I'm on time. Um, ish. So, this is a celebratory thing. We have four boxes today, and I'm not going to waste too much time yakking with you up front, uh, but we do have Sephora Play. We have Boxy Charm, we have Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and we have uh, Wee Box, <laughs> which is all about Scotland. So we got three makeup and beauty ones, and we got one about Scotland. I'm excited. There's a lot of good stuff. I can't wait to show you and talk about it and swatch and all that good stuff. So we're just going to jump right into it. All right. So <laughs> Sephora plays up first. All right, we're starting with Sephora Play today because it has the least amount of products. The other ones get a little, a little crazy. Um, so Sephora Play is a monthly subscription box. It is $10 a month. Uh, it comes in these little plastic bags that are really cute. They are kind of Ziploc-y, um, so you can reuse them and put stuff in them. Um, I find them really helpful for travel. I don't know why I'm holding this too. That's for later. Um, <laughs> I like using them for travel, um, just throwing stuff if you're on the go. Um, they're they're helpful. I have a lot of them. Um, I save everything. I don't throw anything away. It's a blessing and a curse. Um, but they are helpful. Don't throw them away. Keep them. Use them. Give them to friends. That kind of thing. Um, and if you have to throw them away, please recycle. All right, so Sephora Play also comes with a like, pull-out sheet, um, and it opens up. There's usually some kind of fun information. Uh, this one is about stress busting based on your um, astro astrological sign. Um, I'm a Taurus, so for me it says, stable and dependable, you provide a solid foundation in this wild world. To balance that grounded lifestyle, spoil, your, spoil yourself with a spa day, bring out that fancy face mask and focus on what you want to do. Um, that's really actually true to me. So um, anyway, they usually have really fun stuff, lots of information, fun games, that kind of thing. And then in the inside, they have the uh, products that are in the box. They have information about them, how to use them. Sometimes if something has uh, multiple purposes or uses, they will kind of give you tips and tricks on how to use it. Um, so I really like that about it uh, because I feel like, um, you know, in, in comparison to the other subscription boxes, um, they have kind of more useful information instead of just a description of the product. Um, so I like that about Sephora Play, but I am, I have been getting, I'm stumbling over my words because I'm excited. Um, I have been getting a lot of uh, similar things or things that I have uh, received in previous boxes or from other subscription boxes. Um, and so I wish that Sephora Play had more um, new product samples because I want to try the new stuff. I want to know what that's like. I want to know if I want to buy it. Um, and I just feel like I'm getting a lot of uh, the same kinds of things right now. Um, so I don't know if I'll just kind of pause it for a while and then come back to it later. Um, I've been trying to narrow down the subscription boxes that I get. I'm doing a pretty good job, but it's hard because it's really fun. It's a fun thing to get. So we're going to start with something easy because I'm going to talk to you about all this stuff and then I'm going to swatch it later. And then when I'm talking, the swatches are going to be there. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Okay. Um, so it can be easy for me. And the squeaking you hear is my child Finnegan. <laughs> he is a hairy, hairy little chihuahua and he loves to squeak his toy. So that's him. Um, all right, so why don't we start with Glam Glow? This little sucker here is the Glam Glow Super Mud Activated Charcoal Treatment Mask. Um, this is a purifying charcoal infused mask to provide clarity, 
for your skin and your psyche. That's, that's big. Um, anyway, it's a mask. It's kind of a, a clay mask. So I lied. It's not as thick um, as like a clay mask. It does feel like it has some exfoliating properties in there. I think it's the little little charcoal infused bits, but it is more of a, um, I don't know, a little bit more liquidy. Uh, it feels nicely hydrating actually. So I'm excited to use that. I love masks um, and I need to use more of them. So <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Next, we have the Smashbox Original Primer. Uh, this is the Photo Finish Primer. Um, it is like a sort of clear gel-like primer. Um, it does have a smoothing um, feel to it. I used to use this, and then they had an oil-free version, and I used that. Um, and I really like, this is a smooth and blur one, so it has a little more of the sort of uh, creating a poreless finish. <clears throat> I do want to go back and try this again because I started using so many other primers to try to find something that worked well for me. And uh, it's not that this didn't work. It did. This is like the OG, right? Um, but I don't know. I, I feel like now I need a little bit more hydrating. Um, Sometimes, like with different foundations and stuff you use with primers, the primers can pill up. I've had that happen with certain things. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to going back and trying this again because this was something that I used way back when I first started using primers. That was like, how long have I been married? 12 years ago. So, so um, I've been using primer for a while. And uh, I, I look forward to going back and, uh, and trying it out again. Uh, next, we have the Belief True Cream Moisturizer Balm. Um, this is a mystical moisturizer. Um, it draws its power from apothecary herbs like comfrey leaf uh, to provide up to 26 hours of hydration. Um, now, Belief is a Korean brand, but I believe the person that started it um, studied in Scotland, which I found really interesting, um, and it is why I started using Belief, because I wanted to know um, what it was like, and I liked the idea of Scotland being involved in there somewhere. Um, but I really like this brand. Now, this one is the Moisturizing Balm, so it is the thicker um more um creamy moisturizer they do have one called the aqua bomb which is more of a um a water gel um kind of moisturizer like the the really light kind of uh gel like formula and i use that one because my skin tends to be pretty oily especially in the t-zone and uh, this one is just a little too heavy for me to wear during the day, but it's great for nighttime. Um, I really love the products from this brand. I have tried, um, so I've definitely used the Aqua Bomb. I've bought multiple full sizes of that one. I've used the Moisturizing Bomb. Oh, it smells good. It has kind of a, a light herbal smell. I love it. Um, I've used the eye cream, I've used the toner, I've used the mattifying gel is really great if you need some kind of mattifier. Um, their mattifying product is awesome. Um, I love the face spray, they have a face mist um, that's really great too. Um, what else did I use? I used a lot of I used a lot of products from Belief. I really like the line. Um, so if you're looking for a different moisturizer, um, you know, an eye cream or something, uh, check them out. And uh, hopefully you can get uh, little samples to try. Typically, Sephora will have um, sizes like this in a little pack. Um, so they'll usually have the toner, a moisturizer, um, an eye cream or something else and maybe the the face cleanser <clears throat> so they'll have little sample sizes and a little um, usually it's a little square container like a little kit um, and uh, usually it's not super expensive it's about twenty dollars or something so look for that i don't know if they have one right now but 
um, look for it at Sephora because that's usually where I find it. And that's how I tried a lot of different products at first, but to know if I liked them or not. So um, if you've used Belief, let me know how you like it because I love it. All right, next is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. This is a jet black liner. It has the um, sort of really fine marker like tip. Um, and you know how this works. It's a black eyeliner. Um, I have multiple samples of this. Um, usually it's this one or the Ico one that I get. I typically like the Stilo one the best. Um, so it just depends on what your preference is. Um, but you know how this works, so I'm not going to swatch it or go on and on about it because it's, um, it's a waterproof liquid eyeliner in, in marker form. And, uh, I do like this kind of product because it makes it really easy to apply. Um, and, um, yeah, I have it in multiple colors. Um, the product will like this. I like this. Um, okay. Next, the next product is the Tarte. Babasu Found Sealer Skincare Foundation SPF 20. Um, this is the shade 22B. Um, and it is a radiant skincare meets foundation. It uses Babasu palm oil that nurtures, moisturizes, and soothes skin. It also has sunflower seed oil and hyaluronic acid. Um, so I have never used this before. I'm wondering if the color is going to be right for me. Um, it's always kind of a hit or miss when these boxes send something um, like this it, it, because you never know if it's going to match your skin or not. Um, this seems pretty close, I would say. I mean, right now I would say it's a little dark, but it's actually probably good. Um, it does have a um, smoother consistency, like really hydrating. So I'm wondering how that will work with my oily skin. Um, but it does have a really smooth feel to it. And just putting it here on my hand, um, it, it blends out really well and and looks pretty good it doesn't seem to have a whole lot of coverage um but it's also not super sheer so um we will see how that goes and uh and i'll, I'll report back when i get a chance but cool all right the last bonus product that we have is the philosophy amazing grace perfume you know how i feel about perfumes you should already know how I feel about Philosophy Amazing Grace. I wear Philosophy's Falling in Love perfume. That's my jam. It's been my jam for like 14 years now. I don't change it up too much. I love the Nest Indigo, um, but I don't. Cocoa Woods by the Nest is actually pretty good too, um, but I don't change it up too much. I don't. This doesn't smell as bad as I remember it smelling, but I don't want it on me. I think when I smelled it before, it was a little too baby powder. I hate the smell of baby powder. I don't like the way babies smell. I don't like that. Um, so, I don't know. This is a little too perfumey, for lack of a better word. Um, it's very kind of floral and... Um, and just kind of powdery and I don't like that so meh but um anyway <laughs> that's our Sephora play box I know I kind of breezed through that but um I am trying to I'm trying to run a tight ship here you guys so um anyway that is what it is I am looking forward to uh trying the foundation for sure going back and trying the primer again um and uh yeah so let's see what are we gonna do next we're gonna do boxy charm next <laughs> the theme for this month is breaking the ice um so we have five different products i'm really liking boxy charm um their customer service has been really great um there's been i think there was just one product that was leaking a couple months ago and i emailed them about it sent them a photo and they sent a new product. 
Um, and that was really, really helpful. I like when customer service is pretty quick and really helpful in that way. Um, and I just like the different products. Um, a lot of them are newer products. A lot of them are from brands that are completely different from Sephora Play and even Ipsy. And so I like being able to try new brands that are totally new to me or products that are new to me. And a lot of the items are also more on the expensive side. Um, and so they wouldn't be things that I would just go to the store and say, hey, let me try that $60 eye cream. I'm not going to do that. I want to try it first before I decide that it's worth it. Um, and occasionally they are worth it. Usually they're not, but you have to use it a while. You know, with skincare, you have to use it a little bit to see if it's actually helping you or, or whatever. So it just makes it more fun to be able to try these new brands and especially things that you wouldn't just grab on a whim. Uh, I think you get the idea. So let's get to it. Uh, the first thing is the Too Faced uh, Diamond Light Highlighter. Um, so this highlighter is infused with real crushed diamond powder and light, reflect, light reflecting pearls uh, for a brilliant fancy pink diamond glow that will have you on planet Shima. Um, I want to go to that planet. Um, so this retails for $36, um, and I'm going to take it out of this cute little packaging. Look at that. And we have this cute little diamond-shaped thing here. I do like the packaging. Um, so in this cute little box, uh, there is this diamond-shaped highlighter. Um, now, it is a sort of um, pink duochrome kind of situation um when i show it to you up close you will see that uh, there's some pink with kind of a, a peachy gold in the middle and um i did wear this last week and it is a very subtle highlight um particularly for my skin tone um it just kind of blends in a bit um, I, it's not like super duper reflective where you're going to be like, damn, they can see me from space, but it is really pretty. I think it, the subtlety makes it a little more neutral, a little more easy to use. You could use it all over your face for highlighting various areas. Um, you could pop it on the middle of your lid just to have that little pizzazz. It does have a slight duochrome on the skin. Like it's not as pink as you think it's going to be when it's on your skin. And it's also not as like kind of duochrome and flashy as you think it might be. It's more of like a, a champagne golden highlight with a slight pink shift. Um, but the pink isn't super noticeable. So it's not going to be something that makes you look, um, super pink and flushed and all of that, if that makes sense. Anyway, I like it. It's very finely milled. It goes on really smooth. Um, while it does have some maybe tiny flecks of not necessarily glitter, but it does have that sort of sheen to it, but it's not glittery. And it's not super metallic um, and it just glides on really smooth and feels really nice on the skin um, so it is something that I will be using more of and testing it out um, because it is really pretty and it does give a nice subtle glow next on our list is the dr. Brandt skincare 24 7 retinol eye cream I believe this is the one that I chose because with BoxyCharm you you get to choose one of the products um, and then they kind of build the rest of your box around that. Um, and I also believe that at certain points they have add-ons or pop-up things, but they do send those separately. Um, but there are some really great deals to be had. Anyway, uh, this is a potent yet Jennifer, Jennifer, what is that? Where in the hell did I get the word Jennifer? I don't, I don't understand. I'm so sorry. 
This is a potent yet gentle, light reflecting and age fighting eye cream. A perfect combination of retinol and ruby crystal complex that gives your eyes the attention they deserve. It retails for $55. Um, I love Dr. Brandt. I've never met him. I love him. Um, <laughs> I love the line. Um, I use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Illuminating Primer from time to time. Love it. Um, it does give your skin a really nice glow. Um, I, I just, I love the microdermabrasion exfoliator. I got that in a previous BoxyCharm um, and I've used it prior, but it's a little bit expensive. So I was really happy to get it in my box. Um, now Dr. Brand does have more expensive products, but I feel like they work so well. And I always have good results when I use products from Dr. Brand. So I was really, really excited to get this one because I haven't used this product before. Um, and I'm so excited. I am all about eye creams. Uh, and uh, I've been using eye creams since I was like 19. Um, and I love to find ones that are even better than the one I thought was fine before. So um, as I'm getting older, I need better, better products. Um, so I did put this on my hand. It is a very light um, kind of gel cream um, feel to it. And so I, um, I think it'll be good under makeup and stuff. It's not going to be too heavy. Um, and I'm really, really excited to try it out. The next product on our list is the Avant Skincare 8 Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. Um, this is a, a mask, obviously. Uh, to reveal a more youthful and beautiful skin overnight, it helps to tighten the skin and lessen the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. Um, so I can totally use that. Girl, I'm not even going to tell you how old I'm going to be this year, um, but it's coming and I'm trying to be like share and turn back time. <clears throat> um, so get this though. It retails for $107. Now, BoxyCharm is $25 a month. So, damn. Um, we've already got our money's worth with this thing, and hopefully it works well. Um, it does have shea butter, rice bran, panthenol, polydeci? Deci? I don't know. Anyway, $107. Um, you know, sometimes that means it works really well and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, I think next week I will have like total, you know, it's Valentine's week and it's Outlander week. So I'm just going to have like some decadent nights where I just do face masks and sleeping masks and I use my new eye cream and I do a hair mask. Like it's going to be nice. So I'm really excited to give this a try. I did put some on the back of my hand. It's very creamy, like um, like a nice creamy moisturizer. So it feels really hydrating and nice on the skin. Um, ooh, it goes right in. Like, ooh, it's not. It feels really good. It smells. It has a very light, clean, almost slightly fruity smell like apricot it's not um it's not crazy uh, you know if you're really sensitive to smells i don't think this is going to be too much for you it's very nice it's a very nice smell and i feel like the more it's on my skin and i rub it in the the scent kind of fades um so be advised and uh i i'm super excited to try this you guys all right, next up, this is the second to the last uh, thing. We have the Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Face Gommage. Um, so this is a delicate exfoliating cream with a rich texture and soothing fragrance. The Truffle Therapy Face Gommage is a lush formula combining the best of the iconic Mediterranean lifestyle and the luxury of Italian spa experience. A beauty cabinet staple. It has sweet almond oil, apricot seed powder, uh, black winter truffle extract. Um, so yeah, this is supposed to be super awesome. It's going to buff away and erase dull 
lackluster skin, revealing a more luminous and healthy complexion. It retails for $28. Um, I love exfoliators, but I love gritty exfoliators. So we're going to, we're going to take a sniff. It does have that kind of apricotty smell. It's uh, more fruity. Ooh, that has a nice little grit to it. Um, I'm, I'm good with it. I like this grit. That's good. Good grit. Um, it feels really good. It feels nicely exfoliating, but it doesn't feel too rough. Um, so that's awesome because you don't want to hurt your face. Uh, so I am super excited about that. It does smell very nice. Oh, what is it? It smells like something from my childhood, but I'm not sure what. Isn't it weird how things can do that? Like you smell something and you're immediately years, decades away. I, I don't know what it smells like, but it smells like something from my childhood. And if I think about it, I'm going to tell you. I can't. I can't place it. Play-Doh? Does it smell like Play-Doh? I think I just, I think I just spit when I talked. It doesn't smell like Play-Doh, but there used to be a Play-Doh that had a nicer smell that wasn't necessarily Play-Doh. And I don't know what the kids have these days. I don't know what Play-Doh smells like in this decade, but this smells very nice and I like it and I just can't quite place what it is, but uh, I'm excited to try it on my face. That's, that's what you need to know. All right. I guess we're getting loose here. Y'all this is where we're really being laid back. Um, the last product in boxy charm is this grande cosmetics grande drama that it was a lot of D's together. Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara. Um, this was designed by the maker of cult favorite, cult favorite Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. I really like the Lash MD stuff. They have a brow one that works really well. Um, the Grande Cosmetics introduces the hottest secret weapon for lashes that command attention. Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. The No Flake Intense Black Formula works while you wear it creating unrivaled thickness through key ingredient castor oil. They really are selling the castor oil. Um, my grandma used castor oil, but it wasn't for her lashes. Um, that sounded weird. It, it, sh n never mind. Um, <laughs> I get, I, I'm not going to tell you what she used it for. It wasn't anything twisted. Just, I'm sorry. I brought it up. Um, I'm sorry to my grandma, but she doesn't watch this. So anyway, it's $25. Let's, let's move on. It's $25. Um, I want to look at the brush. Um, so it's not a super thick brush, um, but it's not super thin. It's not the silicone one. It does have little bristles. It has almost like an hourglass shape to it. It doesn't smell funny. Um, I, you know, I usually don't like mascaras because I need tubing mascaras um, because most mascaras that are not tubing mascaras give me the raccoon eye within a couple of hours. Um, but I will test this out. I will try it. If it doesn't give me raccoon eye, awesome. Um, and we'll see what happens. All right, moving right along, we have our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Um, the theme for this month is Clean Slate. Um, now with Ipsy, they have three different, um, sort of levels you can purchase into, right? So if you're totally new to Ipsy, I'm going to try to make this quick. They have Ipsy Glam Bag, where you get a small bag with a little zip. Usually it's like a little zippered bag, um, but they do have some different styles and you get five sample size products. Um, with Ipsy Glam Back Plus, oh, and that one's $10, by the way. Ipsy Glam Back Plus is $25, and you get, um, I think it's five or six, one, two, three, four, five, um, 
full size products, sorry, I got distracted, full size products, you also get a bag, it's just a little bit larger. Then they have Glips, Glipsy, they have, I don't know what's wrong with me today, they have Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate. You get a larger bag and you get eight products. I believe you get five full size and three or four sample sizes. Um, with all of these, I believe you can pick one of your products. Um, they also have add-ons each month. So um, like, like for February, they now have a level of $18 for add-ons, but that's like the, the upper, the upper class products. Um, they are typically $12 for the full sizes. And then they have sample sizes for $3 each. And so they'll have all kinds of different products, typically from different things that are going out that month um, that you can choose from. You can add on to your box and those all come in your box together. Um, so like with, with FabFitFun, with BoxyCharm, those add-ons come separately. Ipsy add-ons come in your box, everything's together. And um, Ipsy has really good customer service, at least in my experience. If something is broken or missing or leaking or whatever, um, they've been really quick to respond back to me to send out new products if they can. Um, I've never had an issue where they didn't have the product to send to me or whatever. Um, and I've really appreciated their customer service. So um, hopefully that answers your questions. If you have any other questions, please ask. Um, if I don't know, I'm, I'll look it up. Um, I mean, certainly you can go to the website and Google if you want to. Um, but I'm here to help, darling. So, um, this is the bag for this month. So it has this really pretty, almost um, pink toned, white-ish metallic, right? You can just kind of see it there. And then this white marble, the back is like a white marble look. It does have a little wristlet strap and a zipper. And then it's lined with pink. It has a little Ipsy, Ipsy brand tag in there. It's a very nice little bag. These are always so helpful. I finally was running out of room because I've got an Ipsy and and all of these other boxes. I'm, Birchbox and Ipsy have had the longest, I guess, and I just got rid of Birchbox not that long ago. Um, but I was running out of room because I keep everything, I told you. And so I went through stuff to get rid of stuff, so I had to tone it down. But um, these are nice little bags. They're very useful. They're very useful for travel, um, for throwing stuff in your purse. Um, if you carry a big bag to work or something, putting different things in there, throwing it in. Um, they're, they're super great. So anyway, let's move on. I could ramble on all day, obviously. I don't think you want me to do that. Okay. So, <laughs> the first product in our Ipsy bag is the Perlis Blue Lotus 4-in-1 I Adore Serum. Um, so, it's another eye cream, which I am always excited about. This contains plant-based powerhouses like French marine plants, soy proteins, and vitamin E to target fine lines, crow's feet, and dark circles and puffiness. Um, so, this retails for $58.00. And um, usually I find that the eye creams that are more expensive work better. I, I know that sucks, but that's what I have found. Um, and like I said, I've been at it, the eye cream game for a while. Um, I do love this brand, Perlis. My um, Blue Lotus anti-aging moisturizer, that's my moisturizer. And then I also bought uh, like three full size um, of the matcha green tea moisturizers from the same brand because that's amazing for daytime for me. And Ipsy had this awesome like Christmas um, deal where they had a set with a full size moisturizer and like six face masks for $12. And that moisturizer is $40 by itself. I was so excited. I bought like three of them. So anyway, moving right along. This is the eye cream. I haven't tried it yet, and I'm super excited because I do have a brightening serum um, from this same line. I have the moisturizer. Um, I have various uh, face masks 
from this line, uh, as well as some other pearless moisturizers and that kind of thing. So I'm very, very excited about this. I will give it a sniff and uh, check out the texture. It does have a very similar texture to the Dr. Brandt one. There's not really a scent to it. So I'm, I'm very, very excited about this because this brand is so awesome. Um, I know that I was using the Belief stuff before, and then I started using the Blue Lotus moisturizer, and it was just amazing. And, uh, and it really does help clear my skin. Like if I'm having inflammation, um, irritation, I have to shave my face, so I do get irritated. Um, and uh, it really helps to like just smooth and clear everything up and it's phenomenal really if you don't like the belief one try the pearless and and just let me know what you think because um i love this brand up next we have the hana lee company lip treatment um it is a clear kind of um lip gloss type situation um so it is formulated with a unique blend of hawaiian botanicals like kakui nut oil aloe and agave um, it is a lush lip treatment to instantly revive chapped lips. Um, it retails for $20. I have the lip scrub from this company. And I believe there's also a couple of tinted um, lip treatments. One is more of a rose color. Hold on, I'm trying to get it to come out. So it is super thick. Um, it reminds me of... It doesn't feel super sticky, though. It reminds me of the... Um, bite beauty agave like lip mask it's that thickness um excuse me but it does kind of smooth out and feel really nice and hydrating but not not sticky and tacky so that's always a good thing um it doesn't it doesn't really have much of a scent if it does it's very light um, and I'm really excited because I do like this company of like the other products that I've tried from them um, and it's not not too expensive which is also great so um anyway yay okay next up we have a lipstick um from the brand nature's cartel which i have never heard of before um this lipstick is in the color 90s nostalgia and it retails for 15 dollars um 90s nostalgia if you're wondering if you weren't living it um is a brown color uh so it is inspired by 90s beauty it's a brown mauve lipstick um a creamy non-drying formula it is vegan and cruelty free and um it's supposed to be kind of like a hydrating um uh pigmented lipstick right and i will swatch it for you i did try this on and i felt like on my lips it was really brown but on my hand it does have more of a brown mauve -y look in the 90s i wore like rum raisin which is kind of like a plummy brown and i felt like that looked better on me um so i will have to try this with um some different colored blushes and eye eye looks and stuff and see because on my hand it looks nice um but on my lips previously it looked weird but maybe it was lighting i don't know um but it does feel nice and creamy um and does have a little bit more of a sheer color payoff it's not like crazy pigmented and, and thick in that way um which i like so i think this would be you can kind of sheer it out in the summer i think that would be good it has that like light feel to it um anyway i'm excited to try it all right next i'm going to talk about space case cosmetic scene from space highlighter duo uh this retails for 18 dollars I love the packaging. It's super cute. It's this um, like a UFO with color, which I really like. Um, so we have two colors here and uh, you will be seeing them in an up close video, uh, but I'm going to talk about it. So this is the color 1C. It is a kind of golden white color um and it is very golden when i put it on my skin it's a little too golden for my skin tone these come in a little plastic container and have the same consistency 
as ColourPop highlighters. So if you use ColourPop, um, you already kind of know what this is about. I will say these tend to have a little bit more um, like little glitter particles in them, um, which I'm not always fond of for highlighter because I don't want them sitting in um, fine lines and pores and stuff. Um, but it does have a very smooth consistency. I mean, it's very much like ColourPop. So um, if you like ColourPop, you, you probably don't need these. Um, this is the color 1B. Right? Yeah. 1B. Um, this one is more of a champagne -y, peachy pink kind of golden shade. Um, it's definitely a bit dark for my skin tone, but you can kind of sheer it out a bit um, so it's a little more subtle. Um, it is just a little too dark because it does have the kind of shift to it, but they're very, very pretty. Um, they're very gorgeous. They're very soft and creamy. They do have that kind of color pop texture to them, um, which I enjoy. But these are from the brand Space Case Cosmetics, which I had never heard of as well. All right, now the last of the products that's actually included in my box, and then we have some add-ons to talk about, is the Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette in Amethyst. Um, now this retails for $27.00. I love these little palettes. Um, Huda has various ones um, that come in different colors. I think there's a nude one now, but there's a smoky eye one, which I do have. There is a mauve one, which I do have, which is a little more burgundy. Um, there are bright colors. There are just shimmery colors. There's greens and blues. Like they come in all of these different ones. This is the amethyst one. So it's all purple, which I'm super excited about. Look how pretty those are. Um, so I, I don't want to blind you with the mirror. So we're going to go to close up. Um, now these are absolutely wonderful. I, I really love the Huda brand. I love all of the um, eyeshadows that I have tried from the brand so far, and uh, it's it's really um, this really gorgeous purples, um, pinky purples and the like. So I'm really excited about that. They just feel really smooth um, and uh, and lovely. Let's get to these shimmer colors. Oh my god. They're so pretty. Um, I do feel like some of the, oh my God, some of the more glittery ones um, have to be built up a bit, but um, gorgeous colors and absolutely quality shadows. Um, can't go wrong. All right, so as I mentioned, uh, Ipsy does have add-ons. I have a few here to show you um, and a couple to swatch for you. Uh, the first one is Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. This is the um, Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And um, I heard a lot of good reviews about this and I started using it myself. I bought one and I love it. It is a tubing mascara. It stays on. It's easy to come off um, with just some water um, or makeup remover. It, it just kind of comes off in the little little bits, little tubes. Um, but it's really fantastic. It does give you length for sure. Um, I absolutely love it and highly recommend it. I think it's twenty five dollars regular price. If I I didn't look it up and I don't have my phone here with me, but um, I got this for $12 with the um, Ipsy add-ons, and so I'm really excited because I've been using mine. I'm going to have to replace it um, probably within the next month or so. Uh, so I was really, really excited about that, and I highly recommend this mascara. Also from add-ons, I got two blush samples. So these were $3 each, and they are from Ciate London. This is the Glow 2 Illuminating Blush. I got two different colors that looked really pretty. I did look up swatches before I got them, um, just so I would know kind of what colors to get, what would work for me. Um, I got the color, the shade Matchmaker, which is more pinky, and Date Night. Um, which is a little more coral. 
Um, so I'm going to swatch those for you. Um, so this is a blush that has illuminating properties. And I really like those kinds of blushes because I feel like it gives your skin a healthy glow. Um, it just looks a little more natural and um, and and healthy and, and pretty. And I just love that. My favorite blush is ColourPop's Drop of a Hat because it is this sort of peachy pink, but it has a slight um, golden sheen to it. And it's very, very pretty, and it works really well with my skin. Um, these are not glittery, they're not metallic, but they do have um, a slight sheen to them. And they're very gorgeous. They're not, um, I, I have worn them before. They don't really settle into lines and stuff. They're very uh, lightweight, very smooth, and, um, and like finely milled. They go on really well. They blend out really well. Um, you can build up the color, but um, they are pretty pigmented with just one swipe. Um, so you do have that as well. Um, and today I'm actually wearing a different color. Um, it's also by Ciate London. It is an illuminating blush, but it's called something different. Um, and it was a little bit more of like a pinky mauvey purpley shade um also very pretty it, it does the same kind of thing um i don't know why it's called something different it's basically the same product but i really really like it so um those are oh, those are our beauty boxes and now we're going to move on to wee box which i'm really excited about it's all about scotland um if you're not interested then you can stop here i guess but you're going to miss out on the wee box fun and if there's something um, tasty to, well, not everything to eat in the box is tasty, but I am gonna try it live here if there's something in the box. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed those boxes. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, what you like, um, what you didn't like. If you got something different in your box, I wanna know if there's something you wanna recommend to me. I would love to hear it because I love to try stuff. Um, so let's move on to Weebox. All right, Weebox comes in this beautiful purple box. I love when it comes in the mail every month. It has this lovely thistle. Um, as you might know, I did go to Scotland last summer. It was amazing. I love Outlander. Amazing. I'm so excited for season five to start next week. And uh, let's get to it. It's just, it's so much fun learning about Scotland, myths, legends, cultures, food, all of it. I love it. I love it. So... I'm gonna open the box now. All right, so the theme for this box is Burns Supper, Burns Night. Um, as you know, Robert Burns is Scotland's national bard. And uh, this has various sort of uh, celebratory things here. Um, so we're gonna start with a collection of Robert Burns poetry. Now, again, I love the books in Wee Box. Um, they are always, no matter how small, no matter how big, no matter how thick or thin, they are lovely. They're well put together. They're always super quality. These do have um, Robert Burns poems. They have some illustrations to go along with it. Um, it does, it has a little dust cover. I mean, these are very quality items. I have a whole row of books from my wee box up on my shelf here. Um, I just, I adore them and I, I'm always so impressed with the quality of the books that they have in here. Um, these are just, just a cute little book of all of these various Robert Burns poems, um, that you can read and enjoy. So, uh, I'm, I'm very excited about that. I know I say I'm always excited about something, but I am. It's like Christmas opening these things, which is part of the fun of sharing it with you because I'm just like, woohoo, it's Christmas time. Uh, all right, next we have a Scotch menu tea towel. Um, so let's open it up. It's a copy of an original late 19th century menu. Um, so let's see what have we got here. Soups, sheep's head, cockaliki, hen brie and a dram, totties and heron, 
Truths. <laughs> oh my goodness. Haggis. Um, oh man, peas, mutton. Roasted, bubbly jock stuffed roasted ducks. Anyway, this is really awesome. Oh, there's a lot of desserts. Jeez. Oh, and wines. Yes, scotch toddy. There we go. Um, awesome. I, again, the other wonderful thing about Weebox is they always include things you can actually use. I've gotten, you know, coasters and mugs and candles and, um, the diffuser oils. Like that's still going in my dressing room. The rose one. I love it. Um, I've gotten various tea towels, aprons, like there's so many things that are actually useful in day-to-day -day life around the house, whatever it is, um, which is another thing I just really love about the box because they include things like this that aren't just things that are going to take up space in your house or, or you're going to throw away or whatever. It's things you can actually use and like quality items um, that aren't just cheap things that are going to fall apart or whatever. I just, I really, I got to hand it to Weebox. They're, they're really awesome. Um, they don't, I feel like they still don't get the recognition that they deserve, uh, like in the U S and stuff. But, um, but I think they're, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I just, I love seeing like their social media and stuff when they talk about the different things that's going on. They did a burn supper. Um, uh, Sam Hewen was there and, um, they're just, they're rocking it. They really are. And they deserve all the, all the accolades they're going to win for subscription boxes because they are super awesome. And I, I just love all the products. Uh, next we have the Quake, which is like a little cup to offer uh, friends a drink the friendship cup um, this one is very pretty it has a beautiful Celtic knot design um, I will show you up close um, I think I have th two or three of these so far um, from previous years because I've been getting Weebox for a little bit and uh, I think this is my favorite so far because I love the Celtic knot design um, but uh, Quakes have been used through the centuries to offer a welcoming drink at clan gatherings so you can take your your little sip of whiskey I would need like 10 of these filled with whiskey um, preferably Aberlore I love Aberlore um, anyway, I love this. I have, I have my others sitting up there on my, my little Scottish section of my bookcase. So that is where this one will also go. All right, next we have a leather bracelet. It is blue leather. It's, um, like a braided bracelet. I saw the tag on here, um, just to see if it was from a specific company, Heather Gift Company, um, from West Lothian. Um, it does have a little button closure to put, it's like a, a little hook, and it has a thistle on it. Um, I think I need to stretch it out a little bit because I have a plus size wrist. Um, it, it's definitely real leather because you can smell it. <laughs> and um, and uh, I think it's really pretty. I like when they have different things like this too. Um, they've had earrings in, in the box as well, like cute beaded blue earrings. Um, Anyway, love it. It's super cute. I, I really like it. I'm just gonna have to stretch it a little bit. Um, and, uh, that'll be a little more comfortable fitting my wrist, but, um, definitely a fun little add on to this box. We also have a Highland Koo, a little milk jug. It's a little creamer, creamer jug, um, with this gorgeous Highland Koo. Um, when I went to Scotland, I actually, didn't see that many coos. There was a ton of sheep, um, but not a lot of cows. I, I didn't get to see some at Culloden though, so that was nice. Um, they are quite lovely as cows go and, um, and just cute with their, their little bangs and stuff. And, uh, this is very pretty. It has little flowers and like a, a brick, um, scene here. And I actually have the mug that matches. Uh, the mug holds my toothbrush in my bathroom. And so um, I will have to find a use for this as well. Um, and I might, I might just put it with my other pottery that I got in Scotland. Um, it goes with everything. So <laughs> I love it though. All right, there is something to eat in this box. It is the traditional Scottish tablet from Mrs. Tilly's. Um, so this is a malt whiskey tablet, which 
I don't know if the other ones were malt whiskey because they have had tablet in a few boxes. I'm not really a fan of tablet. It's like straight up sugar. And I try not to eat that much sugar, so it's a lot uh, for me. So I don't know if the other ones were malt whiskey ones, but we're gonna try these. Okay, they smell really good. You can smell the whiskey. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it. Just a little bite though. Mmm. Oh, woo. Woo. What is, yeah, that's straight up sugar. <laughs> it's sugar. Um. <laughs> it's very sugary. <laughs> it's a lot. But um I do like the the malt whiskey flavor better than just the regular kind. It gives it a little something, a little pizzazz. Um so I like this better, but damn, that's it's very it's a lot of sugar. Lordy. Um, so, <laughs> um, maybe I will take this to RuPaul night tonight and share it with my friends and see if they like tablet. Um, because I don't know if they've had any, <laughs> but anyway, um, this is a great box. All of these boxes were awesome. I would love to hear your opinion. Have you been to Scotland? Do you get Weebox? Do you like stuff in Weebox? Let me know. Um, <laughs> I very much enjoyed sharing these boxes with you. Um, I can't wait to come back and uh, and get with you on the December stuff. I know I'm way behind, but I'm still going to do it because I like to be thorough. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this too. <laughs> Take care. I hope that you're having a great February. Happy Valentine's Day a little early. Um, happy Outlander week. I, I hope that you're going to watch. Um, if you want to fangirl with me in the comments, go ahead. <laughs> I'm super excited. Anyway, have a lovely whatever, um, whatever week, whatever thing you're celebrating, uh, whatever morning, afternoon, evening it is in your neck of the woods when you're watching this. But um, I hope you're doing well and I hope you have fun and I will talk to you guys next time. Now remember, stay sparkly, you guys. Bye. <laughs>